Hey guys, this is your girl Asha, and I'm going to be doing a quick review on Blush Cardigan. I was so excited to shop SAS, and I saw that they had the $3.95 deal, and so I was excited based on the reviews of Blush Cardigan to get it. And I have it here. I just received my box today, but unfortunately, I will be returning um, some of them. I actually got three, and I will be returning them because I am not the biggest fan. Blush Cardigan has notes of sweet raspberries, sugar dipped violets, and warm amber. A lot of people on here were raving and saying that you do not smell the amber, you do not smell the violet, you just get this sugary raspberry deep note. I completely disagree with that. I honestly do feel like the amber is very prominent, just as prominent as the violet and raspberries, which makes this a different take on a raspberry scent. I have a lot of sugary raspberry um, um, body mist and perfumes. Uh, raspberry chiffon is a great example of a simple sugary sweet tart but very sweet raspberry. These are very deep raspberries and the amber and the violet kind of cut through that sweetness to give it a little bit more depth and warmth. And although this would typically sound good and the kind of fragrance that I lean towards, something about the combination of all three gives me cough syrup gives me like a deodorizer. This is something that I would love to smell maybe in like a room spray, in like a, um, in like a candle. But on my body, it just is a little bit off-putting for me and I can't get it out of my head. A similar perfume too that I have in my collection, which are very reminiscent and have this whole uh, kind of vibe to it, is Rogue by Rihanna. I have that um, in my collection. I still have a full bottle. Unfortunately, it has gone back, but I remember for years trying to love that fragrance and I just couldn't because it gave me cough syrup and it's also a um, uh, plum note in there mixed with amber and florals. And that combination of all three plus the leather just gave me cough syrup, deodorizer. It just was something that I would rather smell out in a room freshener rather than on my body. Um, another one that I know a lot of people love but gave me the same kind of vibe is Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson. So many people love this, but every time I smell it, and I've had this for over a year, I get those similar deodorizers, um, fake, those kind of stuff that you would want to smell in a candle, but not necessarily on yourself. I do make an exception for like chai pumpkin, um, where it does actually smell like a candle, but they're they're holiday reminiscent. But for something like this that gives me like cough syrupy vibes, deodorizer vibes, candle vibes, I don't know how I feel about it. And I've been wearing it for a while. I had to reapply just to get the strength back. It is very potent, I'll give it that, but it just has that it just has that scent profile for me that turns me up to it. Now, it does also smell like those raspberry, sugary, 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 um, there's a sugary, sugary raspberry treat that's also very reminiscent of this. I know a lot of people love it, but for me, I can't really get that out of my head. I'm going to return two. I bought three. This one and two other ones. I'm going to return two. I might hold on to this. But at the same time, I have such a big collection at this point that I don't want to keep anything that I know I'm not going to absolutely love because it's a waste of product and money. So I'm going to see how I feel about it. And then tomorrow or the day after, I'm going to go return stuff. But if you love it, I'm happy it worked out for you. But does anyone else see the similarities between this and Rihanna's Rogue? Let me know. Bye.